this is step 2b. Um, step 2b isn't documented in the readme of the at ESP32 GitHub repository. Um, this is just to help you get familiar with um, the ESP32 and like writing code and uploading code and uh, also blinking an LED on the ESP32 for debugging purposes. So let's just head over to our project, go over to the platform.ini file, and let's just get rid of this um, line here for now, the at client dependency, because we're not there yet. And um, you're going you're gonna to get errors if you don't remove this line for now, but we'll add it, we'll add it back later. So now let's head over to our main.cpp file. Uh, I don't know what this is doing. Oh, it's updating my project because I got rid of the dependency, so it's getting rid of the, the libraries. Okay. So um, make sure you include arduino.h over here, otherwise um, this might not work. Then you're going to define um, an LED2 because LED2 is, or number two is where the LED is on the ESP32 for some reason. Um, depending on which board you selected when creating this project, you might not have to define this, but let's define it anyway. The next step is to declare that this LED is going to be mode output like that. Um, next step, let's make a loop real quick. Um, no particular reason why I chose 255. Then we'll say, if you ever wrote Arduino, this is going to look a lot a lot uh, more familiar. So we're going to digital write to the LED pin that we created, and we're going to say high. So we're going to send high voltage. Then let's delay for 500 milliseconds, and then Let's put that to low so it turns off and then delay another 500. <clears throat> All right, next step is to press this build here so that um, just it just makes sure that our code doesn't have any errors and it's ready to be shipped out to the ESP32. You don't always have to run this build. Pressing the upload and monitor button will also run the build. So uh, the next step, if we want to upload this code, is to put our ESP32 into download mode. So to do that, you're going to hold down the boot button and then you're going to press the other button once while holding down the boot button. So I'm going to press the other button once and I'm still holding down the boot button and that'll put it into download mode. Then with my other hand, I'm still holding down the boot button by the way, you're going to press upload and monitor. And then once you see that uh, it's running to these hex addresses, you can let go of the boot button and hopefully you get a success. So I'll just do that again. I'm gonna hold down the boot button. Um, sometimes it prints weird, so it might say 100, and the other button might say EN, like on my ESP32. The 100 is the boot button, and the EN is the reset button. So I'm gonna hold down the boot button, then I'm gonna press reset once, I'm just gonna tap it. And then you'll see here it says waiting for download, because I'm in monitor mode. And I'm still holding down the boot button, and then we're gonna just press upload and monitor like so. And then now I see it's writing, so I'm going to let go. I can just relax now. And there we go. It's uploading correctly. And the LED on my ESP32, which is blue, is blinking. So yeah, that was step 2B. Um, it's undocumented just to get you guys going with a, a blinking LED on your ESP32.